Hi, this is Mato. Welcome to my online chess lecture. In this video, I will show you a game between Magnus Carlsen and Hikaru Nakamura. This is a rapid game from Magnus Carlsen, Chess Dua Finals 2020. Carlsen had white pieces and he started with d4. Nakamura played knight to f6, c4, e6, knight to c3, bishop to b4, the Nimtso Indian defense. e3, the Rubenstein variation, maybe. Nakamura castled kingside, bishop to d3, the standard move, c5, knight to e2, d5, asking a question, bishop takes on c3 check, b takes on c3, d takes on c4, bishop takes on c4, queen to c7, x laying the bishop on c4, y to move, bishop to d3 is the most played move, Carlsen played bishop to a2, b6, castling, bishop to a6, spinning the knight, bishop to b2, knight to c6, rook to c1, rook from a to c8, c4, intending d5 in some variations, c takes on d4, let's take it back, if something like rook from f to d8 then d5, back to our game, c takes on d4, e takes on d4, queen to e7, d5, e takes on d5, rook to e1, bishop takes on c4, knight to g3, queen to d8, black is a pawn up, bishop to b1, but white has a bishop pair, how relevant is that? b5, cementing the bishop, knight to f5, d4, it looks like that Nakamura is doing well, queen to d2, bishop to e6, rook to c5, what a nice move, black to move, this is the critical moment, Nakamura played a6, rook to e8, would be much better, but he didn't want to lose the pawn on b5, perhaps. Anyway, you will see why rook to e8 is better than a6. a6 was played, and something very unexpected happened. Are you ready to see the move? Carlsen played, knight takes on g7. What a move! King takes knight. Queen to g5 check, black to move. If the black rook was on e8, then black would be able to play king to f8. King to h8, queen to h4, rook to g8, white to move. What did Carlsen have in mind when he sacrificed the knight? He can't take on d4 with the bishop because the pawn is defended by the knight. Is there a solution? The solution is to remove the defender. Rook takes on c6, the exchange sacrifice, removing the defender of the pawn on d4. Rook takes on c6, bishop takes on d4. It is quite tricky for black to defend the knight now. King to g7. Queen takes on h7 check. Amazing rapid chess game. King to f8. Queen to h6 check. King to e8. Bishop takes on f6, attacking the queen. Queen to a5. Nothing serious, just threatening checkmate. It is white to move. And Carlsen played the best move. Queen to e3. If rook to d1, then rook to d6. And black is okay. Back to our game. Queen to e3. Queen to b6. Rook to d1. Let's take it back. If queen takes a queen, then rook takes on b6. And black is okay. But in this position, bishop to e4 would be quite a strong move. Rook to d1. Rook to d6, bishop to d4, let's take it back. If rook takes on d6, 
then queen takes on d6 and black is okay. However, if queen takes queen, then rook takes rook check mate back to our game. Bishop to d4, queen to c6, threatening checkmate on g2. Bishop to e4, queen to c4, h3, to avoid back rank disaster. It is much easier for white to play this middle game now, because the white king is safer. King to d7, rook to d2, rook to e8, king to h2, bishop to d5. This would be a very good move if the black king wasn't exposed. Bishop to f5 check. Bishop to e6. Bishop to d3 attacking the queen. Queen to a4. Bishop to e5 attacking the rook. Rook to d5. White play the move. And black resigned and the move is queen to a7 check. Nakamura resigned in view of this continuation. King to c8. Queen to c7. Check. Mate. Wow, that was a brilliantly played game by Magnus Carlsen, wasn't it? What do you think of this game? And that is all. I hope that you enjoyed watching this video. I wish you good luck with your chess and bye for now.